Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. In this video, I will explain you how to do the seismic analysis by using SAP 2000 software in Zone 5 seismic condition for the G plus 2 building structural model. So for that, just I am selecting my model. I was already done the analysis process and designing of this particular model by using gravity loading condition system in the previous classes. So now I will unlock this model. So for that just I am selecting unlock option here. Click on OK option. Now we have to define a seismic loading condition system for this particular building model. So for that just I am selecting define option which is available on the top. So in this it will be consisting of the load pattern option here which is related to definition of the new loading cases and defining the properties which is involved on that particular load case. This time selecting load patterns option. So here already we are defined the two types of the load cases like dead loading condition system as well as the live loading condition system for this building model. So now we have to define a seismic loading condition system as well as the wind loading condition system according to IS 1893 code book and IS 875 part 3 code book provision standard system. So for that initially we have to click on the add a new load pattern option okay so before that we have to select this name of this particular load case just i am giving earthquake load in x direction just i am selecting this as quick which is related to is uh, 1893 code book provision standard system okay 1893 just i am selecting which is of two types of the loads one is related to 2002 code and 2016 code just i am selecting 16 code click on add option Again, I am selecting earthquake load in y direction condition system. Click on add option. So that the two load cases which is related to seismic loading in x direction as well as the seismic loading y direction according to IS 1893 code book provision system was added here like this. Now we have to define the parameters which is related to earthquake loading x direction inside parameters and earthquake load in y direction condition system. So here I am selecting earthquake load in x direction. So it is consisting of uh, uh, add a copy pattern, modify load, load load pattern and delete load pattern option. So we will select the modify load pattern option here. So here we are selecting the earthquake load which is applied in x direction condition system. That's why we have to select as global x direction only. Again we have to select the eccentric ratio depth all depth condition system just we have to assume as 5 percentage 0 0.05. Again we will select the seismic zone factor z value here. So you can see here, here the zone Z factor is 0 0.1, 0 0.16, 0 0.24, 0 0.36 according to the seismic zone. For zone 2 it is having 0 0.1, for zone 3 it is having 0 0.16, for zone 4 it is having 0 0.24, for zone 5 it is having 0 0.36 value. So here I am decided to go with zone 5 condition system which is of 0 0.36 factor. Now after this we have to select the soil type which is related to 1, 2, 3 type category. So now we can see it is consisting of 1, 2, 3 here. So rock soil, medium soil, loose soil condition system. Next time selecting 2 which is related to medium soil condition system. And response reduction factor just we have to consider as 5 percentage for this particular building model. This time selecting here as 5 percentage for this building model. And we have to calculate the time period value as well as the lateral elevation range value here. So here I am selecting time period value according to program calculated only not for the calculated value. This time I am selecting here click on OK option. Now in the same process I am selecting earthquake load in y direction condition system. Just click on the modify lateral load option here. Select the direction which is related to global y direction condition system here. And you have to select the per code value according to 0 0.1, 0 0.16, 0 0.24 and 0 0.36 we have to consider according to the considered load combination. This time selecting here as uh, 0 0.36 Z value which is of a uh, very severe damage condition system for this building. Now we have to select the soil type which is also similar to that of the X direction condition. 
which is of uh, loose soil, medium soil, rock soil type. Just I am selecting here as medium soil condition system for this particular model with the importance factor as one value. You can consider the importance factor as 1.15 depends upon your building specification considerations. And uh, I am keeping the time or period value as uh, program calculated only for the particular time period value as well as the lateral load elevation range also. Okay, click on OK option here. Now after this you can see the definitions which is related to the earthquake loading condition X and earthquake loading Y direction conditions are defined here. Click on OK option here. Now after this we have to add the load combination system according to the seismic load, gravity load and as well as the lateral loads. Okay, so go to select define option here. Select the load combinations option here. So now we can see here it was added with the two combinations already previous sections according to the gravity loading condition system. Just I am deleting these two properties. Now I am deleting these properties. Firstly we will add the load combination. Click on this option. Uh, for that we have to click on the default design combination according to frame design section. Click on OK. Now we can see it was added approximately 16 number of the combination but it is missing 1-2 numbers. So it is approximately 14 number of the combinations here. Click on OK option so that it will apply the load combination. Now we will analyze this structure. Go to click on the run analysis option once again. So it will ask you to select the set load cases to run option. So here I am selecting this uh, only the seismic loading condition for seeing the results part. That's why I am selecting dead load model as well as the live load as do not run option. Click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the building. Then we will see the results which is related to the seismic analysis deflection diagrams and everything. So just I am selecting 3D view. Now we can see this is the deflection diagram for this building model. If I click on the start animation option so that it will deflect the building structural model in X direction condition system. Again in the same process you can see the results part which is related to Y direction condition system also. So for that go to click on the display option show deform shape. Click on this particular option select earthquake load in Y direction click on apply so that it will apply the seismic loading analysis in Y direction condition system for this model. Okay, so click on the stand animation option so that it will display the seismic load in y direction condition system deflection diagram. In the same process you can see the results related to shear force, bending movement etc. with the considerations of the seismic load. Go to display option for that. Select the show forces option. Select the frame spandrilla force. Select earthquake load x direction. Select the shear to toe option. Click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram which is applied in only x direction. Again if you select the 3-3 three, three direction so that it will display the shear force in y direction. Select the movement 2-2 two, two option click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram for this x direction. Again click on bending moment 3-3 three, three option so that it will display the bending moment in y direction condition system. In the same process you can change the load case from earthquake load in x direction to y direction. Click on axle load this is applied here. Select shear 2-2 two, two option so that it will apply here. Shear 3-3 three, three option click on apply. Torsion option again in the same process I am selecting here. For this building model, click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, bending moment diagram, torsion diagram for this. This time selecting here. Again, I am selecting bending moment 2 2, click on apply. Again, I am selecting bending moment 3 3 option. So, this is the bending moment 3 3 for this building structural model under the uh, seismic loading analysis case. So, this is the complete process of seismic analysis of the building by using SAP 2000 software. So, in the next video, I will explain you the complete concepts related to wind loading analysis by using SAP 2000 software. See you in the next video.